so for the installation I was thinking about memory homelands um, and imagined homelands specifically and how how I felt like the idea of a homeland sat in my mind my memory of my own rather my reimagination of it was warped through rose tinted glasses not quite accessible or reachable and how that sort of memory impacted my sort of um, diasporic experiences. I'm trying to kind of think about language, uh, accessibility to language, sort of um, uncomfortable feelings of not being part of discussions, not being part of socialisations and not being able to kind of engage with that and um, so that's kind of um, sort of an exploration or a dialogue into that. I just kind of had this image of like tongues um, coming out from a gourd um, and the idea of having sort of these latexy noodles wrapped around each tongue. I, I was kind of trying to think about the idea of like are they slurping, are they tied up, um, are they eating, are they all like are, are these tongues like in communication with one another and I displayed it on top of um, plates and ceramic bowls that mm -hmm. I made myself um, thinking about sort of the talk and the conversation that happens around um, a dining table or around eating and then I kind of started thinking about well what's kind of in a way the duality of that the opposite of that the counteractive to that um, which then just simply just became a, a detached tongue a tongue by itself mm. not a part of the conversation um, on the other side of the window and I never wanted to fully obscure what was behind the window, you know, you can still peek in, you can still sort of make out, um, but it's always sort of, yeah, out of reach. If one, if, if one sort of line of dialogue is about language, the other one is kind of about sort of what I do have in, in counteracting what I don't have. Um, there's a lot of sunflower seeds, they just stack on it all the time and I just felt like it, it's so important to kind of include that as a material in my work because it reminds me of, of them and, and they do it because it, it's something that they always did, it, you know, it's like a constant. Wherever they go, it will always be a constant. And to me, that's sort of um, greatly symbolic of, of feeling at home. Mm -hmm. I, I just like to use different nostalgic markers that I picked up from my parents and mm -hmm. what what like what reminds me of a homeland or what reminds them of a homeland and kind of incorporate that the idea of the chair being a site of rest and a site of contemplation but also how rest and contemplation especially especially when i contemplate about all these ideas in my work and how that can be quite an overwhelming or um sort of uncomfortable sort of experience um it's it's literally a, a very literal recreation of feeling heavy this kind of precariousness the body is sitting in balance it's like seating but it's not quite um stable on the ground the chair it like you know it's getting gnawed out or it's like at its little tiptoes on its points throughout the making of this installation I started thinking a lot about um, authenticity versus imitation, um, especially when I was mixing the paint to put on the wall, because I was very sort of specific. Like I wanted, I wanted the wall to be, I wanted it to ignite like my parents' senses when they walk into the room to see the wall for like my mom to see the wall and be like, oh, that's home, you know, this and that. And I was looking at the images that I had online. I was thinking about the images that I had in my head and the memory of it. And I was like mixing the pigment in. I always felt like the color was slightly off and it annoyed me. And then I started thinking about how it was, you know, ironically fitting that the colour was off. <laughs> it was like, you know, these images that I was looking at were arguably places that I've never been to. Mm -hmm. And um, how, in a way, through my work, I'm not really, like, authentically imitating, sort of like, even when I'm, like, rolling out salt dough and imitating my mom cooking in the kitchen, it's never really an authentic, like, recreation. Mm -hmm. It's always sort of this kind of developed imitation. And the windows along there yeah. that kind of mirror the windows along here. Exactly. Like, it's, yeah. It all just kind of worked out. Yeah. I even like how you can see the garden outside as well. Oh, like, that's yeah. true, yeah. <laughs>